Oh my god, it's crazy that in just one day Tesla announced two of the latest updates about the Optimus robot. This has stunned the tech community because Tesla used to reveal new milestones only once every few months. The last time we saw a significant update for Optimus was about two months ago, and typically the upgrade cycle falls somewhere around two to three months for each new milestone. Yet now, within just 24 hours, two major announcements dropped back to back and that almost completely breaks Tesla's previous pattern. And in today's video, we're going to break down. What are the two biggest recent upgrades that make Optimus Gen 3 surpass all other robots? Along with the major updates, we also have a piece of information at the end that has completely shocked the tech community. Elon Musk says that within the next 10 to 20 years, at least five traditional jobs will become optional and that humanoid robots will create a surplus economy where money itself may become meaningless. The first update had the whole world talking. Optimus can now run. And not just some awkward, stiff kind of run, but a movement that's smooth, natural, and strikingly human-like. Even balanced strides with perfectly coordinated arm and leg motion, everything about it made viewers say, this is truly a major breakthrough. Just a few months ago, Optimus was still learning how to walk steadily, yet now its ability to run has reached what Tesla describes as a new performance record. But while the introduction of running ability in a humanoid robot is undeniably impressive, it also raises an interesting question. In a long-distance race, could the Tesla bot actually meet human endurance demands? With a 2.3 kilowatt-hour battery and an energy consumption of around 700 watts, Optimus can run continuously for a little over three and a half hours before its battery runs out, equivalent to more than 20 miles. If you're a runner with an average pace of about six miles per hour, then in theory you could run longer than that and force Optimus to stop first due to a dead battery. Of course, there are hundreds of possible answers, but as people busy with everyday life, we imagine a situation like this. You're trying to catch the morning bus so you won't be late for work. Normally, you could sprint for a short distance, weave through the crowd, and catch up when the bus stops at a red light. But with the latest Optimus Gen 3 models, that advantage is slowly disappearing. They not only run steadily at high speeds, but also analyze traffic flow in real time, optimize their route, and even accurately predict where the bus will stop next. While you're still out of breath at the end of the slope, Optimus is already waiting by the next bus stop. And if the current development trend continues, the day Optimus becomes integrated with public transport controls, robotaxis, or intelligent traffic systems is only a matter of time. When that happens, the human flexibility that once helped us deal with everyday situations, like chasing a bus, running to the parking lot, or rushing a delivery, could completely disappear. Of course, if you really want to outrun it, the simplest solution is still to hop into the nearest car. But then again, Tesla's cars are also robots and Optimus could very well gain full driving capabilities in the future. As things keep moving in this direction, it's hard not to wonder. If everything goes too far, will there come a day when we have to run away from the very robots we created? Either way, achieving a running efficiency of roughly 9 miles per kilowatt hour is still an incredible milestone for a humanoid robot. But why is running such a big deal? The answer lies in the countless applications that could save lives in emergency situations. In firefighting, emergency response, and disaster rescue, every second is critical. A robot that can run, maintain excellent balance we saw, and adapt to complex terrain could deliver medical supplies, assist victims, or take the place of humans in dangerous environments. In factories, robots could move quickly between zones, transport tools, and handle urgent situations in real time. In everyday life, a robot that can run could become a workout companion that never gets tired or help elderly people when they need to catch a bus or deal with an urgent task. Even in entertainment, a robot capable of running, jumping, and rotating with agility could appear in stage performances, artistic light shows, or any activity that demands human-level physical precision. However, to take on most of these roles, the robot needs more than powerful legs. It also needs human-level dexterity in its hands. And that leads to the second update Tesla released, an update that may have an even deeper impact. At the NURI PS 2025 conference in San Diego, Tesla showcased the new generation of the Optimus hand. Thanks to Rick Burton's video, we can clearly see a level of refinement far beyond any commercial robotic hand today. The new hand features 22 degrees of freedom just in the fingers, 
plus three more in the wrist and forearm, doubling the previous version and getting close to the 27 degrees of freedom found in a real human hand. This allows Optimus to perform tasks that require high precision, such as catching a tennis ball, folding clothes, handling small components, and even playing musical instruments. It may sound simple, but for a humanoid robot, the ability to play a musical instrument is the ultimate test. To play an electric guitar, the robot has to press each fret precisely within the tiny spacing between strings, apply the exact amount of force, perform techniques like bends, hammer-ons, pull-offs, and produce clean harmonics. The right hand must strike the strings with perfect force and angle, switching from light jazz picking to high-speed sweeping without creating unwanted noise. If one day Optimus can play guitar like Jimi Hendrix, David Gilmour, or Eddie Van Halen, then we wouldn't just call it a robot that can play music. We'd call it a true artist. What sets Optimus apart from other robots is Tesla's approach to designing its hand structure to mimic real human muscles and tendons. It uses robotic tendons for actuation, combined with advanced tactile sensors, high durability, and the ability to repeat precise movements without constant maintenance. Meanwhile, Boston Dynamics Atlas still uses simple grippers, and many labs in China have extremely complex robotic hands that remain impossible to commercialize. Tesla is different. They've managed to merge an ultra-dexterous hand with a whole-body AI system, one trained using massive amounts of real-world data from Tesla's global fleet. This is something no other robotics company has, an AI system that understands space, objects, and the environment the way humans do thanks to billions of hours of data collected from Tesla vehicles. As a result, Optimus doesn't just move correctly, it actually understands what it's doing in the real world. And Tesla isn't stopping at building a highly capable robot. They also have the ability to mass produce it. This is what truly separates a prototype from a product that can be deployed globally. Tesla has already proven it can manufacture electric vehicles at scale, continuously reduce costs, and optimize production lines in ways no other company has achieved. This opens the door for Optimus to hit the market at around $20,000, about the price of a large displacement motorcycle in the U.S. If everything goes according to plan, Optimus will start appearing in Tesla factories in 2026. That vision is what pushed Elon Musk to make a shocking statement. Optimus could become the biggest product in human history, even surpassing the smartphone. And he didn't stop there. He said Optimus could eventually become a von Neumann probe, meaning a robot capable of replicating itself. In other words, one robot could build another robot, which could then build more robots, creating an infinite chain of self-replication. If that happens, global productivity could multiply hundreds of times over, factories could operate entirely without human involvement, and production resources could become almost limitless. Musk also wants to send these robots into space, to mine asteroids, build space stations, and prepare the surface of Mars long before humans arrive. This ambition goes far beyond anything any other robotics company has ever proposed. While many companies in China, the US, and Europe are still struggling with clumsy, hard-to-manufacture prototypes, Tesla is the only company with the capability to mass-produce humanoid robots at large scale and low cost. And although many people worry that robots will take away human jobs, Elon Musk believes that within the next 10 to 20 years, traditional work will become optional, similar to how you can grow your own vegetables as a hobby rather than a necessity for survival. A surplus economy, where people no longer work out of the need to live. It may sound like science fiction, but Musk believes Optimus and humanoid robots in general will be the key to making it real. So what sectors will see the biggest shift as robots take over more and more of our daily work? Are robots really going to take our jobs? Not long ago, that question sounded like science fiction, something distant, hypothetical, maybe even a little silly. But that changed when Elon Musk posted on X last month. AI and robots will replace all human jobs. Work will be optional, like growing your own vegetables instead of buying them from the store. That single statement stopped millions of people in their tracks. It felt equal parts thrilling and terrifying, because for the first time, the idea didn't sound unrealistic. It sounded like a warning about a future that's already pulling into the driveway. Most of them are still clumsy, heavy, awkward machines that wobble around or collapse after a few hours because their batteries can't handle the load. And honestly, many of them look like prototypes built for show. Flashy, loud, but not genuinely useful. But the Tesla bot is different. 
It's the first humanoid robot people take seriously, not because it looks futuristic, but because it's practical. It's balanced in design, elegant in motion, and backed by one of the most advanced hardware and AI companies on the planet. After Tesla's recent shareholder meeting, Optimus instantly became the most talked about robot in the world. Elon Musk hasn't been shy about raising expectations either. He's made bold claims, the kind of claims most CEOs would never dare say out loud. According to him, Optimus could become the biggest breakthrough in human history. He believes each unit could work nonstop, never tiring, never needing a day off. But Musk goes further. AI and humanoid robots will eliminate poverty. Tesla will lead, but many companies will build them. The only way to make everyone wealthy is through AI and robots. He hasn't yet explained exactly how a Tesla bot will generate income for its owner, but his message is clear. Optimus can become a productive worker capable of earning money. You can imagine it transporting goods, serving food, working in a restaurant, or even mixing drinks behind a bar. Tesla already uses them inside the Tesla diner. Real, revenue-producing jobs. So when Musk says a $50,000 robot could pay for itself in two or three years, it doesn't sound unrealistic anymore. It sounds like an investment. Musk envisions a world where Optimus not only eliminates poverty, but democratizes high-quality services like healthcare. To him, that is the real promise of technology. Not just profit, but human flourishing. What many people overlook is that Tesla has been quietly building the key components of a humanoid robot for over a decade. Musk often reminds everyone that Tesla's electric vehicles are essentially robots on wheels. Consider the CyberCab, a fully autonomous robo-taxi. It may look like a car, but from an engineering perspective, it's a mobile robot. Every Tesla EV contains essential robot technologies. High-density batteries, power electronics, drive units, custom actuators, AI vision systems, neural network chips, advanced software, and a global infrastructure for managing autonomous machines. These are the same ingredients needed to build a humanoid robot. And Tesla has mastered them at a scale no other robotics company can match. That's why Musk confidently says Tesla is already the largest robot manufacturer in the world. Every car we build is a robot. Break it down. Battery, power electronics, motors, gearboxes, connectivity, vision-based AI. Hello, Optimus. Still, nothing on Earth is smarter than a human being. Nothing functions quite like the human body. But Musk is investing billions because he believes Tesla can build a robot with a brain, arms, and legs, operating so similarly to a human that it becomes indistinguishable in everyday tasks. And yes, this is usually the part where the Terminator theme starts playing in people's heads. But flip the script for a moment. What if a humanoid robot became the world's most helpful personal assistant? Imagine a robot that hands you a cold beer, cooks your breakfast, and keeps your home spotless all without you lifting a finger. When we're in our 60s or 70s, who wouldn't want a companion like that? According to Musk, Optimus could eventually be five times more productive than a human worker because it can operate continuously. Optimus can run 24 per seven. It doesn't even need charging. It can work while plugged in indefinitely. Gen 3 is expected to handle real household duties, cooking, cleaning, caregiving, elder support, and a long list of tasks that competing robots may not master for another decade. But such capabilities require advanced engineering, especially in the battery system, which determines how long a robot can function between charges. To appreciate the leap, consider the earlier versions. The first Optimus prototype carried a modest 2.3 kilowatt hour LFP pack, just enough for simple movements. Gen 2 improved design, motion, and agility, but the battery barely increased to 2.5 kilowatt hour. Tesla only reduced the robot's weight to stretch efficiency. Gen 2 was never meant for mass production. Elon Musk even said it outright. Optimus 2 was nearly impossible to manufacture at scale. The yellow Gen 2.5 units we saw last year were incremental upgrades, mostly improvements in AI rather than hardware. But Gen 3 is the turning point, a complete leap in realism, capability, and commercial readiness. Musk says the robot will look so human-like that you'll have to touch it to believe it's actually a robot. This version is Tesla's first true commercial robot launching next year. It will be capable of performing the full spectrum of human-level tasks, as many as 3,000 unique jobs, from simple chores to advanced service and professional-grade support. 
It will function as a full household household assistant trained by Tesla's end-to-end -end AI. Gen 3 will also be deployed in hospitals where it may initially serve as a surgical assistant and one day perhaps even become a fully autonomous robotic surgeon. Musk imagines a world where everyone has access to a world-class surgeon 24 per 7. And this is where the real separation begins. While many humanoid robots gain attention for looking human or performing flashy demos, Optimus Gen 3 stands out for something no other robot has meaningfully achieved. The ability to use human tools in real human environments without requiring the world to be redesigned for it. That single capability is absolutely pivotal to the commercial future of humanoid robotics. Most robots today still depend on modified environments. Oversized tools, simplified motions, custom surfaces, or heavily structured setups just to function. Optimus doesn't. It can pick up a glass, twist a doorknob, open a cabinet, hold a milk carton, fold laundry, pick up toys, all using objects designed exclusively for human hands. Tesla understands one fundamental truth. Our world is built for people, and any robot that hopes to be genuinely useful must adapt to that world, not force humans to adapt to it. On top of that, Tesla's design philosophy prioritizes reliability over performance theater. A robot that can walk the runway smoothly doesn't necessarily survive folding laundry 10,000 times without blowing a joint. A robot that can perform flexible motions doesn't guarantee it can lift a 20-pound box all day on a factory floor. Tesla is focused on what actually matters, the ability to perform repetitive, heavy, precise, and safe tasks in the real world, every day, at scale. So, in your opinion, what matters more in a humanoid robot? Looking human or actually getting real work done? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.